born in the 505, moved to the ninth way. Mom and pop, so was kept food on the plate. Government aid, man, the government cheese. We on government land, we still ain't what free. y'all? It's KMB, the sexy ninja, in the place to be on the ROAD again. How's everyone doing today? It is a lovely, lovely day. Oh, they're handing out coffee. They're handing out treats and all this and that. I wish I could stop, but I got to get to work. <laughs> that is very nice of my apartment complex when they do stuff like that. It puts a smile on my face because I know there's some people out there that likes a little, likes a little pick me up. Ah, uh, so I made a goal for myself. Um, if you are new here, I am currently on a road of losing weight. I weigh less than my driver's license said back in 2016. It says 250. I, I'm at 242. Little bumps, little here and there, but I'm stepping up the game. I'm putting in some exercises, working out the abs, working out my arms and stuff like that. So my goal was before my birthday, which is this Sunday, I will be 36 and I at least want to be in my uh, 230s weight wise before I hit my birthday. So I'm, I'm working hard. Uh, it's like I'm at that 242. I'm looking at I'm like I can kick your ass. I know I can kick your ass, brother. <laughs> you know. So it's just a matter of like pushing myself. And this this morning, while I was walking, I was listening to some Doc Grusin, amazing artist. Peep my review for his uh, newest album. Just just peep the review and show some love to Doc Grusin. Uh, I, I can't. And I was thinking, man, I, I want to get back to the interviews, man. Getting back to talking to people. Getting back in that game because. You know, I was so stuck in the New World podcast mode. And don't get me wrong, the New World podcast is not going anywhere. But it, it was like, it was daily, it was constant. And I, I I fell off on things that I love to watch and everything like that, you know. So, But now that I feel like I'm free uh, and I'm enjoying wrestling more because it was a chore, man. Think about it. You watch, I, I watched every single show every single day dropped a single podcast every single day hit over 700 episodes that's a that's a major accomplishment in my mind man that's like that is that is huge like i you know and i when i was like man i hit 700 episodes on something and stay constant on the grind and everything like that and it, it, it's just it's just a blessing in disguise because it shows that anybody and everybody can do what the hell they want as long as you put your mind to it and ever since i started uh, walking and working out and trying to lose weight and stuff like that because i started off at 285 you know and it's crazy i'm uh when i go back and i try to post old stuff that i i think needs to be shared like on tiktok and stuff like that or youtube shorts and you know all these uh, great little places like pulling interviews i did or something like that but it, it's going back and i'm looking I'm like man i didn't know i you know perception is everything and in my mind i was like oh i'm a sexy beast and whatnot but looking back at some videos i'm like ooh, i didn't know i was that big you know some videos i'm like you know face like this and the videos when i turn i'm like oh shit <laughs> like you know i'm like whoa <laughs> i'm like who's that guy <laughs> K KM Blump <laughs> Plump KM Plump right there. That's gonna be the name for that KMB is KM Plump. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know I'm still a little I know I'm still a little plump around the regions, but oh my goodness. I like and there's a picture I shared on um our, uh, my social media uh, on Instagram and whatnot and it was a picture of my face from a video I took from me being on the trail starting out and i did not know like i was like i have cheekbones now you know <laughs> but it was it was just like major just like i was like oof oof that was me wow but it's it's cool just to tell people like yeah i did that now i'm i'm slowly gaining a chin i have a chin it wasn't a chin before it was like it was multiple <laughs> km plump days you know still a little there to work on i can see my cheekbones and my features and that's pretty dope that's pretty dope to me um but it's also inspiring me to to write more to create more also to just uh get stuff out there just because i want to share my journey with y'all i want to share this uh, whole experience of what i'm doing and you know, listening to great podcasts, reading great books, comic books and stuff like that. Just really getting those creative juices just flowing and stuff, you know. And just watching things and finally catching up on things, man. Like 
with the Marvel Universe, the DC Universe, there's really nothing to get caught up on the DC Universe wise. Comic book wise, yes, comic books, like there's this thing called Absolute. Uh, it's this Absolute Universe with Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman. And it, it, oh, it's so good. Out of the three though, out of the three, I gotta say, Batman takes the edge, of course. Uh, Tom King is writing. Uh, I say Wonder Woman is second, and Absolute Superman at the moment is third. But it's by Jason Aaron. But you know, it's it's one of those things where I I really like the Batman stuff because the Batman is just Absolute Batman is just great. I can't wait to get issue two this week when I stop by the comic book shop and everything. So that'll be like my birthday weekend to myself is just reading and going on these journeys. And man, it was cold this morning. <laughs> it's freezing. I need to get on some. Uh, long johns or something man because as soon as i got home like I, I was like oh god everything's just tight <laughs> and cold and i had to sit in the house i was like oh my goodness here we go um but yeah dude uh oh watch this i watched this movie with my wife uh and then shout out to my wife 10 years married 10 years oh yeah the big the big one baby 10 years married it, phenomenal i love her 3000 I got a great kid who's got a mouth on her, but she gets that mouth from me. So she has this thing called, so when I say, when I ask her a question, she goes, what is, what is she asks, and I say, hey, cat, you know, what's this, blah, blah, blah. I ain't cool. I'm like, oh, 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 excuse me. Answer a question for your old man here. Yeah, not Google. Well, I'm not an ATM. How about that? Hmm. So <laughs> uh, this uh, hot frosty or something like that. It's a movie on Netflix. Uh, it, popped up on our our tiktok and whatnot about a super hot snowman that comes to life because this lady you know she's alone and her husband passed away with cancer and, and it's just a really cute movie it's like those hallmark movies man i want to make one of those hallmark movies that's what i want to do make some lovey-dovey but yeah it, it's 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 cheesy but it's a good cheese and it's a fun movie you know, and there's really no explanation of why this magical scarf brings him to life. And then, when spoilers, when he becomes a real boy or man, whatever you want to call him, snowman, you know, there's no explanation. And, you know, I looked at it like, oh, yeah, no, don't explain that at all. That That's in the writing room where everyone's sitting there and they're writing and they're like, hey, you know, so are we going to explain how he becomes real? And everyone's like... <laughs> Put that logic away. You yeah. really gotta tell people that. Come on. <laughs> Put that, this, this silly goose. Don't be a silly goose. Sit down. Sit down. But yeah, Hot Frosty on Netflix. I, I recommend it highly. It's just a fun movie. If you like Christmas movies, and Christmas is my favorite uh, holiday of the year. Um, my wife and kid is um, ha Halloween and, and everything like that. But I just love Christmas. I. I'm already getting in the Christmas spirit, you know, I'm already, we already got the tree up and everything, and usually we do that before my birthday, and I'm just having a jolly good time, man, and I just woke up so energetic, man, I didn't know I was, you know, these trails I used to walk, uh, there's this one trail that's a huge one that goes all the way around by my place and goes straight into the woods, that used to take me an hour, hour 15 tops, now it takes me about 45 minutes, to do that trail you know yeah because i noticed that i'm walking faster and everything so yeah just enjoying life i just wanted to jump on here you know and just podcast it up and just talk to y'all and just uh, you know it's more, more or less these are certain becoming like life updates and i hope everyone's ready for the holidays i'm ready for i'm having a huge like big time off in which i'm ready to create a bunch of content and everything like that uh it's upcoming december because uh with my work it falls into the academic year which I like uh, with the with the school um, and everything. And so I get time off as the school has time off. And I'm just like, hell yeah, let's go. Let's get her done. Yeah. <laughs> but with anything and everything in life, I hope you have a smile. I hope today is going great. If not, I hope it gets better for you. I hope, you're, I hope the day gets better and there's always tomorrow. Remember that, okay? And go watch Hot Frosty. You want you want some? There's a really great line. I'm gonna I'm gonna end it on this. There's a really great line in this movie that made me kind of in a little bit of a tear. Just like so, he's falling in love with uh, the the main the main one of the main characters, and 
he he knows of her loss of her husband who passed and everything like that and they're at the school dance really cute little dance number and whatnot and he, he's about to kiss her and he pulls away and she's like what did i do and he's like I, you already suffered loss and i don't want to you know what this how is this how am i real you know what what if i go what i don't want you to suffer loss again and i i don't know why ah uh, but the 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 squishiness in my heart was like <laughs> to my wife's like are you crying i was like yes <laughs> it's so beautiful so hot frosty go check it out all right y'all i'm kb the sexy ninja and that's it that's all remember stay six stay sexy ninjas woo woo the res kid pumping off at the lid i'm just the res kid pumping off at the lid about to do it big